Tommy Robinson is a racist, a Nazi, he's a nasty, evil bigot. He's a liar, he's a fascist, he's a racist, he's an Islamophobe. Tommy Robinson's a thug, he's a crook, he's a cocaine addict, he is a racist to his very core. Robinson, he lies to you! The system is what steals from you! Robinson, he lies to you! The system is what steals from you! Stop him, every refugee! The United Kingdom witnessed one of its biggest anti-racist mobilizations in recent history on Saturday, October 26th. More than 20,000 anti-racists hit the streets of London to counter a hate march organized by fascist leader Tommy Robinson. According to reports, around 20,000 people attended the right-wing march. The anti-fascist demonstration, meanwhile, was organized by Stand Up to Racism and was supported by major trade unions and progressive political groups and parties. We were on the ground in London and here's what the protesters had to say. We're here today because Tommy Robinson's marching in London. He's a fascist, he started the English Defence League, he was in the British National Party and we're here because we're sending a message of solidarity and unity. We're not going to let the far right divide us. We're here today because Tommy Robinson is on the same street in that direction with his uh, fascist, racist thugs. He is a person that encouraged the riots that we saw in the summer. And we're here to say that the streets belong to us. We are the majority. They are the few. And we are here to stand up to and reject fascism, racism, hatred, Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. I'm here representing in this legacy at the counter demonstration against Tommy Robinson. We're here to oppose him and his fascist thugs and his rhetoric that he's been spewing across this country. The same rhetoric which was used to fuel the riots in cities that, like ours in the northeast. And we know all too well what divide and rule does to our communities as South Asians. We know it too well from what happened with the British Empire and we know too well what it does here today with the working classes. I think it's, it's critically important that we bring as many people here to, today to say that we're going to stand up to the far right and ensure that the atrocious scenes that we saw at the beginning of August when far right and fascist groups rampaged on our towns, cities and streets attacking mosques attacking hostels where refugees and asylum seekers were living, we're going to ensure that that kind of behaviour is never tolerated and it's driven back. So in order to stop grievances and economic grievances ending up in the hands of people like Robinson, it's vital that trade unionists leave blocks like this and come and march. We've come a long way from Newcastle to get here, but we must march and stand up against these people. It's a critical moment, an existential moment for our society. We have to defeat fascism like we had to defeat it before. And that's why we're here. I came all the way from Lancaster. Um, and I'm here because even though Tommy Robinson isn't here, all of his cronies are, and we need to show them that they are the minority and we are the majority. It's been a great mobilization. You can see different groups who are here fighting against racism and fascism. Um, there are trade unions, anti-racist uh, organizations, pol political parties, and it has demonstrated that when we unite, we are invincible. They can never and win. Trust they can never win because there's too many people that have a dream of a better society in this country, not one that's controlled by hatred and fear. The mobilization today was beautiful. Everyone came together, everyone was militant, everyone was showing that fascists and racists are not welcome in London. We don't want them here and they will come, keep coming back as long as they come back as well. So we'll be here to stop them anytime and we're anti-fascists. Well it's a huge mobilization but it's still not big enough. Uh, fascism has to be rooted out from, from the bottom really upwards, right the way up to the corporations that support it, to the arms dealers that support it the monopoly finance institutions that support it, right the way up, and even some of the people in the trade union movement who voted for right-wing parties. It's got to be stopped all the way to our society. This kind of mobilisation we see here today was the kind of mobilisation 
which prevented the riots from continuing and spreading throughout the rest of the country. It was our communities organising together and coming from the grassroots, coming out on the streets to defend themselves. We come here and we'll defend ourselves in mass numbers or we'll come out and we'll defend ourselves with whatever means that we need to defend ourselves because it is our human right to be living in this country with the dignity and respect that we deserve as human beings.